All right, guys, I just got this new uh, solder sucker here. The Engineer SS02 solder sucker. Pretty fancy. Uh, I'm desoldering the right half of my Quefrency split keyboard here. And I just wanted to kind of do a quick demonstration, and I figure I'm doing this, so I might as well film it. And uh, let's see if I can do this while filming. For anyone in the keyboard world, I have V1 Zelios here that I'm desoldering. I actually don't know what weight they are. I bought this kit used, partially built, and I basically got the kit for free. And then I bought the I bought the switches in it and got the kit for free. So let's see if I can do this real quick. The uh, the magic here is this. Uh, it's not gonna focus but it's this silicone tip here and that creates a seal you guys are probably already familiar with this but it uh, makes a nice seal over the joint that way you get a little bit of uh, suction there so let's see uh, what we can do here I've already got the top row done and then almost all of the second row The nice part is that when you go and charge it again, you pick out the remaining solder here. I have the printers going in the background, that's probably what you're hearing. Creality CR10 and Monoprice Maker Select V2 if anyone cares. This is a 60% split board. I have a 65% PCB on the way, which I will probably make some videos of. I want to build a... Ooh, that's a good one right here. So you can see how it just kind of sticks out. And then you just kind of peel it out. Oh, it's almost satisfying in a way. Oddly satisfying. Uh, cheapy soldering iron here, nothing fancy. I do keep it, try to keep it clean. I'm no expert. Just a weekend warrior. Yeah, so what I want to do here is make a case for the Quefrency, Quef oops, <laughs> that was my fan, um, for the Quefrency, Quefrency, I don't know how you say it, and what I'd really like to do is CNC a case out of walnut, and if possible, I'd like to CNC the plate out of aluminum as well, let's try to get that out of the glare for you guys. So that will be something that I'll be tr attempting in the near future. See how well it goes. So you can probably get a little bit of camera shake on the recoil of this thing. It's uh, it kicks a little bit. It's got some uh, some spring to it. I have noticed that sometimes you have to like kind of pick out the, uh, the solder here just kind of the way it goes I guess you know it doesn't quite eject properly mm -hmm. 
Now I do imagine that I won't th I won't desolder this perfect the first time. Uh, I'm not gonna say this is the most magical tool in the whole world, but it it has worked tremendously well so far. Uh, you know how you get those soldering kits from Amazon, and they just kind of they include a solder sucker, but it's like the cheapest thing you've ever seen, and they just don't quite work the way you want them to. This thing is a little more. I don't know, professional. So anyway, I won't bore you guys, but I just wanted to do a quick uh, demonstration here for anyone that cares. It's an engineer SSO2 solder sucker.